Hello everyone, Bridget here. Welcome to my channel. Just a quick video. Um, this is probably going to be a like a clip video. Not sure yet, but we will see. But the first step here is um, we're going to pour like a base background color. Um, the reason being is um, because I have leftover auto paint that we're using. <laughs> and for the base coat, um, I already did an 8x10 and... Um, I kind of had more paint than what I thought. So this is 11 by 14. The 8 by 10 is out in the garage drying. This is automotive paint. It's actually electric blue. It's a universal enamel. It's going to dry like with a shiny coat. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Tilt it. The edges are going to seem to be a little thin, but that's okay. We'll come up with something. What am I going to use this for? I don't know yet. I will figure it out while it dries and we'll come up with ideas. So like I said, this um, this also has a, like a glitter flakes in it. So we're just going to dump this on. I just wanted to show you this step. And uh, show you what we're doing. I don't know what all we're going to do with it, but I'm excited to see what this how this is going to dry I probably should just wait for the 8 by 10 to dry <clears throat> but guys this has um, hardener and reducer in it if you guys are not familiar with hardener and reducer uh, while well, the hardener it will t harden your paint quick and if I don't use it it'll gel up in the container and we had so much of it left we didn't want to uh, do that so I said well why don't I just put it on a piece of canvas so we're gonna try it and I'm actually just gonna dip the edges because there was enough there to dip I am um, I and I will not <laughs> I will not use my torch on this because it's highly flammable um some of you may remember my very first video which i no longer have up because i kind of deleted it on purpose i deleted it because it was kind of it was bad i used automotive paint with the same stuff in it and went to torch it and it caught fire uh, good thing uh fast reactions so, yeah, this stuff is very, very sticky. It's going to have air bubbles, so I'm going to have to sit here and blow it out. Um, oops. But yes, guys, um, it's very dark. It's a very nice color. I like it. Um, I'm going to just use a skewer here, pop some bubbles. I probably should have used an air gun for this. A rush. Well, he's got a regular paint gun, but that's already cleaned. So I'm literally going to have to sit in here. It's okay. They can watch the dogs, right? I got all night to sit here. And catch bubbles. I might go ahead and post it. Post this video and get your guys' ideas, suggestions. Alright. So really guys, this is not much of a video. But I wanted to throw this up here. Um, I will show you what it looks like when it dries. Um, it's supposed to be like a metallic. It's um, actually called um, electric blue. 
but um, it is like a metallic. It's also got the gold flakes in it, metal flaking that we put in it. We're doing this truck for the guy, some guy that Nick works on his truck for. So, very exciting, and I still have paint left. Hmm. Do I? I don't dare to dump it on uh, a glass, anything glass, because I I'm afraid I might not have enough. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this after it dries. I will try to remember to do a um, how did this dry video so you guys have an idea. But if you guys have an idea now, please feel free to um, comment down below. Alright guys, let's bring it down for a quick close up. So it's very reflective. Um, that's what the, um, hardener does. It's, um, wet look, actually. Wet look hardener. If any of you are familiar with, like, um, automotive painting, that's what this is. So, yeah. Very cool. There is a bubble there, but, um, it may not come out. But I'm thinking about using this as a, uh, background piece for something. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.